you're, 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 the, you've got the top four position is in your own hands, two wins, and, and, and you're there. But if you don't, you probably finish fifth. Considering where you've come from last season and this season, is that a, a thing to celebrate? The fifth will be fine. No, <laughs> we want to be playing in the Champions League, and that's the end. We've come so far, as I said, um, it's in our hands, and, and we want to now capitalize on that. And um, the excitement and and the opportunity is there, and, and we will really want to go for it. So, I mean, how, is there pressure on you to finish fourth? Then, because you could say, well, look, if we finish fifth, it's fine. It's excitement, and uh, and this is what we have built over the last few months. And uh, and as I said. That's the target now. It's in our hands, and, um, and we want to deliver that. And, and respecting the fact that you now you look forward, you've got these injury problems. You've got a very small, young squad. Do you have any sort of times where you think, "Oh, I wish I'd kept someone back," or we've just signed a, another player in January? We've come so far with with this group of players. There were decisions that had to be made, uh, and it's not just the club or myself, as well as the players that are in those positions. As I say, how they're going to contribute to the team. And we have tried to, to do it the right way. And then obviously we've been very unlucky with some long-term injuries that obviously have made uh, the situation a little bit more difficult. And uh, when you were talking after, after the Tottenham game about decisions and things like this, and there's sort of sense, certainly amongst a lot of supporters you read on social media, to, there's a sort of a, a mood a, against us. Also. Are you trying to create a sort of them against us mentality for the players? Why I tried to do, I, I think in three years here I have never complained and I didn't complain where I said that I could not give um, a clear assessment uh, on what I thought about the game and um, and that's it. So so you don't want to build this them against us? It's, no. it's, it's not, it's not that. Whatever, we would defend the club in the right way like we always have to try to do and the other night I tried to do it as well, just not trying to affect that to with anybody. Uh, but being clear and honest, because I think it's my job and my responsibility when I talk in behalf of the club to express how we feel. And if I cannot do it, uh, I prefer not to do it. Some of the pundits said that the, some of the players at, at Tottenham showed that they were feeling the pressure a bit, made, made some mistakes. I don't know if you'd agree or disagree with that, but what can you do to make sure that they're just playing to the best ability without as much fear as possible? That's what every player tries to do. Errors are part of football. Um, they happen in every match, they happen in every training session. Um, and some cause you more than others. And then probably the, the judgment on that is uh, when it doesn't go your way. But uh, if you want to play football and you do it at the right level, as well, you have to take risk and, and risk involve mistakes. If you were offered this opportunity at the beginning of the season, two games, two wins for top four, would you accept it? Absolutely, yes. Good <laughs> yes. So it's, it's a good place to be. It's a good place to be, and uh, as I said, it's in, in our hands, and, uh, and a lot happened in the last few months to be in the position that we are in, so let's go for it.